Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, thanks for stopping by. Uh, before we start with this update on the um, uh, Psychedelic 60s uh, group build. Um, if this is your first time watching, uh, go ahead and subscribe and, and share and like. And if you're um, a regular, thanks for stopping by. Uh, so here we go. This is my second video for the um, uh, Psychedelic 60s posted by Dan the Man at the 60s Rule channel. So if you guys don't don't know who Dan, Dan is, um, stop over to his channel. He's got some really good content. And he's got some really cool builds. So here's my update. Um, the weather has been pretty cold, so it's been kind of rough, but um, uh, it's been one high, low 50s, high 40s, so it, uh, yesterday was 48 degrees and uh, I still do a spray can and so I go outside and, and do my painting. Um, uh, one day I'll, I'll, I'll get brave and I'll buy an a airbrush. And, do airbrushing. Um, I think about stopping at Harbor Freight and buy one of those ten dollar cheap uh, airbrushes just so that I can start practicing. And who knows, maybe I'll, I might be able to do magic with a ten dollar airbrush. Um, so anyhow, uh, so here's my chrome tree. Um, I did uh, put the sharpie. I, uh, it, it almost looks blue. But I might just do an, an actual um, black paint. When it was fresh, when I when I was done using the Sharpie, it, it came out really nice. And I was like, oh, nice. But now that it's dry, it, it almost looks blue. So it's, that's kind of weird. And then um, I was trying to... Uh, I didn't have any uh, for blue for the engine, so I went to Home Depot and... I got a, a paint from Home Depot and let's see if hold on. And yeah, so this was the closest I found for for blue. So which is pretty neat. Then um, as I started um, spraying um, the, the parts, uh, I sprayed uh, flat black some of the parts just to give it a little accent I guess and as I was spraying the black uh, this is the front part of the front suspension or the spindle uh, I'm not sure by the way this looks I'm not sure if, it, if, the, if the, the wheels turn the instructions don't show that but once I put it on I'll, I'll see so as I was spraying uh, I ran out of flat black and so you know, I used the rest of uh, semi gloss and I was just like man I was just at the store I should have just looked at my um, spray can and I could have gotten another paint but nah, no biggie and here's where the radiator uh, sits and this is part of the rear differential leaf springs uh, paint it the battery and the air filter. Uh, this was chrome, so I just spray paint on it and just kind of, I'm gonna scrape it off a little bit so it can look like it's steel. Let's see if it'll pick it on it. You see how the edges look steel, so even with your fingers, it, it, it's gonna look worn out. So that's one of the uh, tricks that I do. and. Uh, Here's this uh, uh, muffler and the rest of the exhaust. All this is gunmetal. And then I'll black wash it and uh, give it a more realistic look. Uh, here's um, transmission, same gunmetal look. Um, the exhaust. Uh, the, uh, I don't know, I, I've been leaving comments on some of you guys and uh, I wasn't. Uh, couldn't find a, a detail, or not a detail, but uh, a paint to detail the whole car and, and just couldn't find the, the right color. And I, I was going online and I saw some 
some, um, it was kind of like a red orange. And when I was at Home Depot, they just didn't have that. They have, they have, they sell the color, but they just didn't have that can. So, so I ended up buying a, um, a different color and it's a, a red apple. And uh, it, it turned out pretty good. So here's the, the can if you guys want to see. It's red apple. And then the engine did brilliant blue. So I thought it was close to four blue. So, and then uh, the uh, gunmetal, it's uh, actual automotive. pick it up later if you guys want to pause and yeah so that's what i use and uh, i use it for instead of just your nor normal aluminum uh, i use that instead so i wanted to lower the car and the wheels that comes with with the cars they're just too small if i lower the car it's just gonna drag a part of where the uh, engine sits or the oil pan and so i got these from my stash and it's cool because it's, it has a, a, a pattern. So I'm gonna use those. And if you see them, you can tell. The difference. So um, since I got the red apple, I started painting the undercarriage. So because yesterday was 48 degrees, um, I shot this just straight plastic. Um, I started on the other side and I did a couple of shots and uh, it seemed like it was sticking on so I, I did the rest of it so once I was done painting it I wait a couple of seconds till just kind of start drying just to make this rough effect so once um, I was done spraying it uh, let me remind you outside was 48 degrees right I was done spraying it wait a couple of seconds went back inside the house and when I was inside the house the temperature inside the house was uh, 68 degrees so I just let this sit right in front of the window and the paint got um, a reaction to it so it gives it that worn out look see how it's got texture and that's how I do some of my uh, rust just to get extra texture so then all I gotta do now is just do your normal dry brush and uh, a couple of rust uh, details and there you go and because i don't have flat black this is acrylic so i'm gonna use acrylic and paint some of this um, like the rest of the um, frame or well it's not even a frame anymore but whatever this part is and then the back side and um, once i'm done weathering it it's um, just do a flat clear and uh, color the day so back to the to the wheels i wanted to use these wheels but the wheels are just too big for it and i mean it's gonna look nice but uh, if the tire was a little smaller maybe for another another build oh and then it has uh, the kit comes with the with the spoiler but just just the way this line looks i, I just like the way it looks so um, don't think I'm gonna leave that uh, spoiler on. Uh, the wheels that I'm going to use, I wanted to use some type of dip dish steelies, but I don't have all four. I only have two, which are the rare ones. So I wanted to have all four wheels to be dip dish, so no biggie. So I'm gonna use this um, style of, of wheel as, as part of my sport part box. So. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, 60s year or era, I don't know if this is uh, something that was in the 60s, but uh, once you put it in the car with, uh, with the tires, it, it gives it that look from the 60s like a hot rod. And if you turn it, yeah, it, it just looks really nice. If I was to have the, uh, 
the wheels that come with, with the car. If I was to lower it, let's see how that this this part here where the engine sit. It was gonna be hitting. So that was just too low. I want it low but not scraping, so let's see. There you go. So, yeah, it's just a just a hair. So it's, it's pretty close to the ground. So um, again I'm not gonna be cutting anything, I'm just gonna lower it just normal hand me down from grandpa and Just go from there. I want to really have some stillings to make it look like a, like a sleeper. And whenever somebody wanted to just come up a light and say, hey, you want to race? And kind of beg, no, not really, but okay, sure, let's go. And then just take off and beat them, right? So yeah, that's what I want to do. But I, like I said, I, I don't have any sillies. Um, uh, if I do find another set, I, I gotta keep looking on, on my other boxes. I know I have. I just recently got the uh, uh, the 62. I think it's a GTO. Um, let me see. Hold on, guys. Sorry. It's the. This one. See uh, the Pontiac, yeah, it's a Pontiac. No, I got this, and I don't even know what year it is. 60, it's somewhere in the 60s, I know that for sure. It could be a 63 or 64. But anyway, so I was looking at when I opened the box, it's got a, it's got a set of Steelys, and I have two boxes of those, so I might be able to just rob the other, the other set and, and make one whole set out of it. But I'm not sure yet. Uh, so. That's it, just a, uh, we always try to say it's a quick video, but it always takes longer than five minutes, so I do apologize for that. So yeah, that's it. Um, this is my quick update, and um, uh, hopefully if the weather gets a little warmer, just enough, or just enough for me to primer the car, and from there, um, be able to just uh, put it together. But for the most part, this, this is where I'm at with the car. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Happy modeling.